Hello, uh, this is another project walkthrough. Uh, in this project, I've created this web application in the front end. As you can see, um, this web application will display an area map centered in the Orlando area and give a small list of preset restaurant names. Uh, on both the left hand side this is a list uh, format and on the right hand side on the map there's a marker style of uh, corresponding restaurant so when you click on either the marker or the name of the restaurant on the left hand side uh, it will pop up a information window uh, showing several of the most recent New York Times articles about that, rest uh, about that restaurant or well around that restaurant. Also uh, this app has this search function allow us to filter uh, through the restaurant list and give us well the small subset of the restaurant that we're interested in. And another function of this website is that you can use the street view feature that provided of course by Google Maps to look at the street views of any select area that you're interested in. Uh, it can take a while to load uh, since it's images. But you will I think I've made my point. I'm going to close this and go back. And this web app is also made responsive. So at this original wide view, we have the left hand side um, list tab, and we have the right hand side of the map view. Uh, but if we shrink the size of the um, the browser or view it in a different uh, device the text part of this app can be shrinked into this hamburger icon which can be activated by clicking and clicking again you will hide it so that's the app the code of this project is available in my GitHub. Uh, it is, like I said, as a front-end project, so everything is in these HTML and some JavaScript files. In HTML, it's very typical. It has a head, it has a body, which contains several divs to define the areas to realize that function in that web app. And down here, we import all the JavaScript fi files that uh, controls the function on the app. And the core of this project is in this JavaScript file called script. And inside this file, I have, I think I have explained every function using comments. So I won't go into too much details uh, explaining the code line by line, but just for you to know, this project is mostly using other people's API. This includes Google Maps API, uh, the New York Times API, and uh, of course the knockout package helps us to um, organize the code and make it spontaneous updates the uh, appearing the appearance of the app once we change anything in the back end. Alright, so that will be this project.